So I'm going to do five days of Slimming World lunch ideas from the Slimming World recipe books. I have several recipe books so this will be quite easy to do. Slimming World's free food on the go is the recipe book I'm using for day number one. That's what it looks like and that's what mine looks like. I've added some extra tomatoes there for extra speed and it's beef and mustard coleslaw and it's got red cabbage, spring cabbage, large carrot, eating apple, natural Greek yogurt, plain quark, cider vinegar, mustard seeds, celery salt and roast beef all mixed together. So I'm going to look forward to having that for a meal lunch idea number one so here is recipe number two it's mexican sweet corn salad and it's out of the free food on the go summer world recipe book again thoroughly enjoying making these recipes it serves two but i've actually made three portions because it's the massive portions so this is the recipe here mexican sweet corn salad and it is, has in it sweet corn paprika black beans tomatoes, red onion, hot chilli, lime juice and coriander. I haven't put as much coriander in because I don't really like coriander but fresh coriander is not quite as bad as ground coriander so we will give that a go. That's what it looks like on their recipe so I look forward to having this for day number two lunch. Here is recipe number three from the free food on the go recipe book from Summer World. That's what my lunch should look like and that is what mine looks like and I've made one for my husband as well because it serves two. So this is the chunky new potato and bacon salad and in that recipe there are potatoes, new potatoes, bacon rashers, mustard powder, white wine vinegar, plain quark, Greek yogurt, fresh parsley, spring onions, watercress and lettuce. So I'll just show you that recipe there and it's free. So that's even better. I have had a taste of the potatoes and they taste lovely. So I'm looking forward to this for lunch number three. So here is day number four idea from the Summer World's Free Food On The Go recipe book. So it is jumbo scotch eggs, which are in there. I've also got a salad and some leftover rice from a recipe from the Hairy Dieters. And you'll find that on my video that will be up soon. Not sure whether this video will be up first or that one first. And it's from the Hairy Dieters cookbook number one. But I'll show you the recipe on that one. So here are my scotch eggs and I've just popped some blueberries in there for some extra speed for after I've had my lunch. So this is the recipe here, jumbo scotch eggs. It's got two medium eggs, two shallots finely chopped, four back bacon rashers with the fat removed roughly chopped, four summer world sin free pork sausages thawed, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, one teaspoon of chopped fresh sage, Half a cucumber peeled into ribbons, which I haven't done because I don't have any cucumber left tonight. And I've made a salad to have with it, obviously. So that is the recipe and it was very straightforward. You just um, fry up the shallots, I popped in the bacon as well, and then I mixed it in with... And you fry the shallots with a bit of water in it, which I thought was interesting. I have done that in the past with things, but you don't often see that on a recipe. And then cool that a bit and then add it to the sausage meat, removing the skins. And then the parsley and the sage, add that all together. I put some salt and pepper on mine as well. And I baked mine in the oven for 25 minutes because I turned them so that they were a little bit crispy on each side. So I'm looking forward to having these tomorrow. I did have half of one tonight because I made, it actually made three from what I used. So, um, and they are a fair size. So I'm looking forward to having this. So that is lunch idea number four. Here is recipe number five from the Summer World's Free Food On The Go recipe book. And it is spicy lentil and chickpea stew. And it's actually made five portions. I'm not sure whether I'll have something with it or just have it on its own. I have had a taste and it tastes absolutely gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to having this. So in the recipe, sorry, it's a little bit spattered already because um, I had the book quite close to the hob. And in this was 
one kilo of tomatoes. I didn't use that, I used two tubs of passata. But there's a red onion, red pepper, four garlic cloves, harissa spice, chilli flakes, smoked paprika, dried thyme, vegetable stock, a can of lentils, I actually used green lentils, a can of chickpeas, some chopped fresh coriander which I didn't use but I also added some red lentils, just dried red lentils into the mixture as well so it's made those lovely five portions there so I look forward to having that for lunch number five. So that's my five days of recipes from the Free Food on the Go recipe book. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give a little comment down below and give me a thumbs up. That would be great. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just let me know down below. Um, I've enjoyed doing these and it's been a lovely week of a variety of different meals. Thank you again for watching. Bye.